Can't keep my hands to myself. No matter how hard I'm trying to. for watching and welcome back I'm so excited to finally be back with another makeup tutorial for you guys today I tried to incorporate different techniques in my whole makeup look and I'm really excited about it I finally got my Kathleen light super shock eyeshadow in by Colourpop and I'm absolutely amazed it's like the perfect gold super pigmented and I definitely was so excited to try this in my eye look today um, I also picked up a new blush and it is by CoverGirl. It's a True Blend blush, and it's in the color, I think it's Ruber. It's really nice. It has a nice shimmer to it as well, and it looks like it's one of those like baked blushes. I love this. Um, I picked it up today from Crow Girl, which is in the makeup aisle per usual, and I was like, you know what? Let me try a new blush, and it kind of has like a mauve purplish undertone to it, so I hope that's coming across on camera as well. I also wanted to go with like a strawberry pinkish ombre lip. And so I actually incorpor incorporated the ColourPop Scrooge Ultra Matte Lipstick. And then I used this Smashbox lip gloss that I've never used. And it's in the color Pout. It looks kind of white, but it does have like a slight nudish pinkish undertone to it. So I thought that would look really good with this um, pink color as well. And I tried a new technique with my ombre lip as well. So I'm excited about that. Um... I do need to be filming my March favorites. I might go ahead and film that video today as well. I'm filming this video on Thursday and it's going to go up probably on Friday. So I probably will be filming my March favorites this Saturday, which I'm totally behind. I never really film it this far into the month, but I've been like super overwhelmed with work, with presentations. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, like that's all I've really been talking about. And if you're not following me on Snapchat, I literally just joined this week and I'm like super excited because I know like my friends, they, they're always on Snapchat. And I'm like, dude, y'all are like obsessed with Snapchat. Like everywhere we go, they're like snapping it up. And then realize, I mean, I finally realized that, you know what, maybe it could be like good for me, good for promotion and just, you know, being more interactive during the day and just having little snapshots of my life. So it's pretty cool. I feel like it's kind of annoying sometimes, but I'm getting in the swing of things. So I'll definitely leave my Snapchat link somewhere on this tutorial so you guys can know how to find me so um i feel like i'm getting a little bit chatty so without further ado if you guys want to see how i got this all gold glittery bronze i like went over first of all i went like overkill with the highlight today i applied glitter bronze and highlight everywhere like everywhere you can imagine i have highlight there but if you guys want to see how i got this gold strawberry lip combination then just please keep watching Hey guys, so I'm back. I am wearing a top just for those of you who are wondering. So I'm going to start out with my CeraVe moisturizing cream and just get my face all moisturized and mattified. I'm always using like too much moisturizer nowadays. I really need to quit it. So I'm going in with my NC45 Matte Concealer as my eyeshadow base. And I'm using this BH Cosmetics brush. It's just kind of like a flat taper brush. They don't have names, and I'm sorry about that. And I just recently got my Kathleen Light Super Shock Eyeshadow from ColourPop. I'm so excited. I'm going to be applying that with my finger just to get the most application on the largest part of my lid. And once I get it blended out on both lids, I'm going to go in with a brush just to blend it out in my corners and add a little more coverage. I'm going to be blending this out with a Morphe G15 taper brush. This is one of my go-to brushes when I am applying the ColourPop eyeshadow if I'm not using my finger. I love to apply this because it does pick up a lot of product. 
So I recently just got this Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And I'm picking up the color Risque and I'm mixing it with Sexpresso. <laughs> That's a trendy name. And I'm just going to be applying that right in my crease. And I'm going to be a little conservative with this brown shade. I'm just kind of I'm going to keep it on the outer corner of the crease and I'm not going to bring it in like I normally do. Just to create a little more drama. And when I'm blending this out, I'm not like wiping back and forth. I'm literally like wiping in one motion and just patting it out because I don't want to lose any of that gold eyeshadow. So now I'm going to be going in with Cashmere Bunny and I'm just going to be applying that on the top to blend everything out to make sure there aren't any harsh lines. So next I'm just going to be using my Pond's Makeup Remover Wipes to remove any of the fallout from that Kathleen Lights color. And I'm applying my Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Eyeliner to give me a good wing. I actually did pretty well today with my wing. I was impressed. I can't believe I actually caught it on camera. And a good angle too. So I just picked up these eyelashes from the drugstore and I do love them. I feel like at the drugstore it's hard to find lashes that are like full and feathery. And these are from a company called Kiss and they're in the shape Blooming Lash. I really do love these. Okay, as you can see, it took like a ton of bricks to get that freaking packaging open, but whatever. So I really do love these lashes. They come with this little glue applicator that is really easy to use. And honestly, guys, this is my first time ever using like this white lash glue. I always use, don't judge me, but I always use like the black hair glue that you glue like your tracks in with. And I love the way it, you know, it doesn't pull out my eyelashes or anything, but my eyelashes do feel like super freaking heavy when I use the other glue. And today I must admit that my lashes did not feel heavy at all. So I just sprayed my Smashbox primer water on my face and I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. I don't have the color on that, but let me catch up. I'm also mixing it with the True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation in the color W8. I think this combination is really good because the W8 is a little bit too light, but it also pro provides good coverage. The matte velvet is just kind of like a dull brown matting color. And when I wear it alone, it doesn't really like pop or anything. So I need to either add like a more yellow tone or like cover FX drops or something like that. But this coverage worked really well for me today and I do love the color that it gives and it blends out really well. And I don't know the color of this makeup forever. It always says number 57 on the bottom of the bottle. And to blend that out, I'm using a Morphe G6 brush, which I love. It's just like a flathead kabuki. And of course, I'm going to go in after I apply my foundation with my beauty blender and get everything seamless and soak up all that extra foundation. I'm excited about this next combination because I haven't used this freaking Tarte concealer in forever. This is the Tarte Concealer in Tan. It's just like one of their little sticks. And I mixed it together with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. Guys, the perfect combination, the perfect highlight color. I know initially it looks like kind of too light for my face, but once I get it all blended out, trust me, it's going to come together. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. I cannot wear this by itself because it's far too light, but I do like to mix it with either like a darker shade or a hot, or concealer that's not as pigmented as some of the ones that I love to wear. And I'm just using a real techniques. I don't know if this is like a small little foundation brush, but I normally use this to color correct and it was like the only thing that was near me, so. I don't really love this for blending out my concealer, but it gets like right underneath my eye and, and into the corner and creases really well. But as you can see, I'm going to go in and just blend that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just make sure that my wing is pointed to perfection. Having a moment. So 
So once I get that blended out, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. Finishing powder, not powder. Let's get it together. But um, this is my first time using this, and I must say that this powder is like super fine meal, but guys, it's like super mattifying. And I mean, I didn't crease at all. Like none of my freaking concealer creased. This was really good, I believe. This is like a really good setting powder, but it's only for those with extremely oily skin, I must say. So while I let that bake, I'm going to be using my Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. No surprises there. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows really quickly because this isn't a brow tutorial video. I do promise to get one of those up soon. I feel like every video I'm like, I'm going to do a brow tutorial and then I never do one. But hopefully it's coming. So I'm going to be using a technique that I rarely ever use, but my eyebrows are like a mess because I need to get them done, but I'm trying to hold out until I go to LA. But I'm just going to be carving them out to make them a little sharper and neater and less hairy, I can say. And I'm just using my NC45 concealer, and I'm going to blend that out with the same foundation brush that I used to blend out my concealer as well. I actually like this technique, though. It did make my tail like come together and look really sharp. So to dust away that Amazonian Clay um, finishing powder, I'm using my Morphe E48 brush, one of my favorite brushes to date, to apply finishing powder. And I just wanted you guys to know, like, when if you do try this Amazonian Clay finishing powder, make sure that you wipe it off all the way off because if you don't, it can, like, appear to have a flashback or a white cast on your face, and you might not be able to see it if you're not looking at your face like an angle. So just make sure you dust that off completely. So I'm just going to be bronzing up my face a little bit. And I'm going to be conservative with the bronzer today. And I'm using my Morphe E4 brush just to give my cheeks a little bit of definition. But I'm not doing any type of extreme contouring or anything like that. I'm also going to be doubling up on the bronzer as well, and I'm going in with my Makeup Forever bronzer. This is in the shade Ultra Natural. I think this is like the darkest one they have in this uh, bronze fusion, and this is the only one that even remotely shows up on me, so it is what it is. And I'm just putting a little bit on my nose just to give it a little color. I also picked up this blush today from the drugstore and it's CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the color Ruber. I love this. It's kind of like a mauve baked type of blush and I love the coverage that it gives. Not too dramatic. And for the first highlight, note to self, I said first, I'm going in with the Lori Geller Gilded Honey Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. And I'm just going to apply that everywhere I can without looking a mess. And after that, I'm going to be using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, the bomb.com, need I say more. I love this highlighter. I can apply it anywhere, and it just looks like I'm glowing from within, glowing for the gods. Any other catchphrases out there, I'm glowing using hashtag a catchphrase. And I'm just going to be applying that um, same ColourPop eyeshadow by Kathleen Lights into my tear ducts and on my bottom waterline. And I'm going to be applying the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to my bottom lashes to just make them appear a little bit more vivid. And as you guys can see, like I never really apply mascara to my top lashes when I do wear falsies. I just don't think it's necessary. And I was trying a new technique today by just outlining my wing with that Kathleen Lights color. It showed up a little bit better in person than it does on camera, so next time I'll try to make it a little more dramatic, but it was really nice, you guys. And so for this strawberry shortcake lip combination I have going here, I'm going to use Scrooge, which is a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick, one of my favorite colors to date. And this time I'm just going to be applying that like on the outer circumference of my lips. Normally I apply like the darkest color all over, then I go in with the lighter color. 
And on the middle of my lips, I'm going to be applying Smashbox Lip Gloss and Pout. And to finish everything up, I'm going to be applying my setting spray, Super Goop. It's setting mist with rosemary and sunscreen. This is for people with extremely oily skin only, guys. That's my caveat for that. If you guys enjoyed this makeup look, and if you want to see more tutorials like this, don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. And guys, when I say that I need interaction, I want you guys to tell me what you like to see. What new videos do you want me to come up with? I'm trying to keep it fresh and new, so please leave me comments down below so I can get an idea for what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Can't keep my hands to myself.